Hey guys and welcome back to the United Star and there's no better way to sum it up the Champions League is here the 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 you know the Wednesday Tuesday nights I was just going to say Thursday nights and then I remember <laughs> thank God we aren't in the Europa League uh but you know let's go through predictions obviously it is the group stage obviously you know mm-hmm. when when you think about the group stages each group has like two tough teams more mm-hmm. or less and we expect them to go through so let's just go through each and every group and see how we expect what if if you wish we can even give a, a points definite as to what what happens uh but yeah i mean group a is the group of death to say the least you know when when it came out uh it was more or less the same group united were in last season but now city are in it i guess they didn't pay well this year uh but uh, yeah group a club bruges man city psg leipzig Sid, how do you think things are going to pan out before I give my two cents on this? Look, it would be amazing if it turns out to be PSG, Leipzig, Man City and so who's the fourth team again? Club Bruges. Club, <laughs> Club Bruges. Uh, but I really think this is going to end up being uh, a close uh, difference between PSG and Man City. I think PSG have a better squad. They have one of the best players on the planet. Um joint best player on the planet in messi so i think psg will have their one advantage whereas you know these guys have some love island man city have some love island lanzini uh who they paid all the ufa ufa money to uh for whom they paid all the ufa money to uh so i am i'm guessing it will be a close uh call between psg and city i think they will be they will have a difference of i think a point or two it will be very close but i think it's going to be psg top uh, city second leipzig third and club bruges fourth i mean it always helps to have more english side second if united win the group we we mm-hmm. our opposition becomes you know uh, easier as it goes mm-hmm. but uh, i agree with you i think when we look at the group uh, psg are coming in as form favorites you know when they made all those signings at more or less said just end the champions league give it to them and let's get it down with mm-hmm. uh, but uh, yeah i mean i personally you know what let 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 me be controversial rb leipzig second man city third <laughs> and club bruges fourth let man city go into europa forget league. that forget that club bruges third man city fourth no no nah, that, that's 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 a tad bit too much so let <laughs> let man city go to the europa league but i think what we both can agree on is psg win this group anything mm-hmm. other than that will be extremely surprising it'll be a bottle job uh, yeah it would it would and you know uh, if city go i mean city wanted to get ronaldo to get a ronaldo messi again but if they end up in the europa league what more uh, i have a very controversial uh, two cents on group b as well because i think that is a tough group as well we're looking at uh, milan atletico liverpool and porto so uh, how do, if you asked me i think the side that after even getting the likes of griezmann in at atletico i think atletico atletico push one notch up and i'm going to tell, i'm going to put them as the winner uh-huh. but when it comes to finding number 2 there are three solid teams in there what's i mean what's your take on this entire group look i mean you could call this the btech group of death because all teams are very good like um I mean, I don't think there's a vast difference between uh, the quality of Atletico and Liverpool, and I don't think there's a vast difference between the quality of Milan and Porto. So, I think personally, for me, I think it's going to be Atletico, Liverpool, uh, Milan, Porto. It's that, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can I can see that happening. You know, somewhere I want Milan to do well with the way things are going. You know, their rejuvenated mm. side coming back. I want them to do well. You know, qualification from this group would be. would be a step in the right direction rather than you know going back to the europa league but i think in this one i i'm not but, going to be but but then you have to see the competition they have no you have to see yeah, the competition they have I mean, i mean liverpool have obviously got uh, their players back in how, how did they injured center back so i think i think i'll agree with you on this one atletico liverpool milan porto yeah Mil- milan porto porto milan porto milan porto so till now till now the two groups we said liverpool and atletico go through and psg and um, are we settling on leipzig yeah let's settle on leipzig and uh, let's leipzig like... go through okay yes. i mean we well, anyways going to get hit that's normal but i think group c <laughs> is um, the winners are more or less direct i mean mm-hmm. the group consists of ajax besiktas dortmund sporting obviously dortmund are the winners Harlan will run all over them uh, but 
I'm confused between Sporting and Ajax. Ajax. To be very honest, um, who 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 are you going with? Ah, uh, look, I think I I would have said Ajax are clear. Had it been a couple of years ago when they had you know Delight, Delong, a uh, De Jong, you know they if, when they had you know what actually Van der Beek could like you know go straight into the team. I mean, <laughs> so I I would say Ajax would be second, but now that they've lost some of the key players like these three, and then they've lost Hakim Ziyech also. So yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I think Ajax and Sporting CP. I think it's going to be like a Man City PSG. What I said in the first, but this is going to mm-hmm. be like a very beta version of it. So it could yeah, anyone yeah. could come on top. Anyone could come. Uh, who on you top. who you going for? Because I I think Sporting would be the one to get the better hand in this one. I'd go. I'd still go Ajax. I still you kind of go Ajax. Ajax. Okay, you I'd give me Ajax. Leipzig. I'll give you Ajax. You <laughs> give me Leipzig. I'll give you Ajax. So Dortmund and Ajax. So Dortmund first, Ajax second, right? Yep. Dortmund first, Ajax second. Then uh, Sporting CP and then Besiktas. Then Besiktas. I mean, Besiktas managed to beat us once. I mean, it's a miracle that it happens. Anyways, uh, but Besiktas. talking about Group B. Are you sure it was Besiktas Besiktas? that beat us last time? Yeah. No, whatever. that was Istanbul Besiktas. Okay, whatever. There's some <laughs> weird ass. Group D. I think I think the two teams are pretty they obvious. Ha- you know, hey, hey, just just Madrid. just just here yeah, about Group D. The first three were the same as last season. Yeah. It was yeah. Madrid, Inter, Shakhtar, and something. And now we have Sheriff. I mean, there's a Sheriff in town. He's going to check on all the all the people down there. But it's more or less clear, right? There's going to be Milan and Madrid. There's no con- no 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 thing. In fact, I'd say. You pick your first and second of Milan and Madrid, then Shakhtar, then Sheriff. Anything other mm-hmm. than that would be shocking. To shocking, say absolutely. So, 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 who's your number one and who's your number two? I, I would say I would probably put Milan as number one because Madrid are still uh, still getting back to their feet. You know, they've lost both their centre backs. They've lost a lot of a lot of possible. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. their, their strike force has reduced significantly. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas uh, Milan, yes, they've lost Lukaku, but they still have. Their main component from last season. Hmm. Yeah, I I, I agree, but I still think uh, Real Madrid under Carlo Ancelotti. You know, I think they will still top the group. I think with uh, Inter losing Hakimi and Lukaku, uh, I think two both of them were key players for Milan's success last year. Uh, and now they've lost both of them. So I I'm, I'm I think I'm going to put my money on um, Madrid topping the group. Inter coming second. Then Shakhtar third, Sheriff fourth. Oh, yeah, we can we can we can do with that. I think I think we can do with that. So just as a recap, I'm just going to say the two two teams first and second from each. We've gone PSG Leipzig from Group A. <laughs> We've gone Atletico Liverpool from Group B. We've gone Dortmund Ajax Group C. We've gone Madrid Inter Group D. D. Hmm. Perfect. I think I think from what we said, I think you've made up enough for your city. Let go now. No more. I'm, I'm not going to let you go that easy. Uh, group E: Barcelona, Bayern, Benfica, and uh, Dynamo Kiev. I think that's going to be that's the order. That may not be the order, but I think the top two are going to be Bayern. No, that's going to be the order. That's going to be the order. Oh, you're even going to say Barca above Bayern? No, no, no. Bayern above Barca. The the same yeah. order. Yeah. The group the yeah. group's going to end in the same order. Okay. Perfect. I don't think there's any argument in that. Um, then it's the know, big I'm gonna one. Leave, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Group F for for <laughs> for the end because obviously it's united in it. Uh, group G, the most boring group I have seen. Uh, Lil, RB Leipzig, Sevilla, Wolfsburg. I don't care uh, which which two teams make it from this to be. I think on. it's going to be a uh, Sevilla on top. Another close yeah, battle yeah. between Lille and Wolfsburg and Salzburg at the bottom. Yeah, I think I think I think I agree. I'd probably go Sevilla and Lille to to qualify from Group G. I think Sevilla comes first, Lille comes second, hmm. uh, Salzburg third, and Wolfsburg fourth. I think we can agree on that. No, uh, I said I said a close call between sorry, Lille Wolfsburg, and Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg third huh. and Salzburg. Fourth. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Uh well going through this pretty pretty quick huh it's not that hard it turns out obviously it's group stages once it becomes you know if we move mm-hmm. on to the next round I think your predictions were much better be yeah honest. but but group H group H I, again I think the order in which I'm going to say it is going to be the order it's going to be Chelsea Juventus Zenit Malmo fair. Because I think Chelsea are way too mm-hmm. strong for Juventus especially after Juventus have even lost. 
uh, a certain uh, you know just just a local and not even a local just a time pass player in Cristiano Ronaldo he's not that great i haven't really heard that, much about that that too for peanuts no but uh, you, you know what i really think juventus could do something against chelsea I just have that feeling. I think I and think I Juventus mean, might top the group because Allegri is way, not a bad manager. He's not a bad Juventus manager. Started, the way Juventus has started the league, I'm just a bit iffy. And you know, with with the squad depth that Chelsea have, I I mean, over over a span of six games, I don't see Chelsea not winning. Uh, hmm. I would say at least four. Yeah, yeah. No, but so, I, I agree so with I you. But that, I see this is I still think Juventus might just pull this off. I agree with you on Chelsea, but maybe Juventus. Yeah, yeah, could be, could be. But moving on to Group F and the final group, and then we'll just go into some smaller predictions. Mm-hmm. Uh, the group contains United, Villarreal, Young Boys, Atlanta. Uh, how do you see it panning out? It it'll be a criminal offense if we don't top this group. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have to top this group. Easiest group that we could have asked for being in pot two. I mean, it is the easiest group. Uh, we could have asked for, and you know, Absolutely. if if I had to do it, it would have been United, Villarreal, Atlanta, Young Boys. That's that's my mm-hmm. order according mm-hmm. to me. Villarreal mm-hmm. outtrumps the likes of Atlanta, even mm-hmm. though Atlanta is a very good team. You know, they they would probably yeah. battle it out. And if United don't end up first in this group, it it's just saddening to say the least. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, you with the quality we've got, with the quality we've brought in the summer. Okay, I don't mm. think if if the season goes wrong, I don't think we can blame the board or anyone anymore because we've okay. actually got quality players, right? And okay. with that quality players, we are expecting, you know, acha, we'll get into do that later. But we can at least we should have a hundred percent confidence that we are going to top this group because you have yeah. you have born winners in the team. Yeah, and you know when you look at it, I I expect Ronaldo to play the first four games. I expect this group to be done in the first in four, four games. games. I want us to win the first four games, end it. You know we aren't playing Villarreal twice. The only only scare for me would be a Villarreal uh, loss or a draw. But I mm-hmm. think we're playing Atlanta twice in those. It would be crazy, you know. Amad Amad's out. Amad's out for a while. But if he's yeah, back but, for an Atlanta game, back. it would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know, playing back, playing it, it it'll be interesting, but. Yeah, I think United can. I mean, for for to be honest, we can even win all our six games in this group. We have yeah, absolutely. That we have the attack. There's no no excuses. So mm. just running by, and then let's go into some smaller predictions. As I said, group mm-hmm. we're going with PSG Leipzig in that order. We're going with Atletico Liverpool, Dortmund, Ajax, uh, Madrid, Inter, mm-hmm. uh, Bayern, Barca, United, Villarreal, um, Sevilla, Lille. And Chelsea, Juventus. So now Absolutely. with all these teams that I have mentioned, who would you want to play in the next round with uh, United finishing first? Your your options become obviously uh, your options are RB Leipzig, uh, Ajax, Madrid. No, sorry, Milan, not Madrid. Uh, Barcelona. Which one? Which one? Uh, Real Madrid. Real. Okay. No wait. Sorry, I got it wrong. Let me repeat it. It is uh, RB, RB Leipzig, Liverpool, uh, Ajax, Inter Milan, because you said Madrid over Milan, mm-hmm. uh, Barcelona, um, Lille, or Juventus. I think I think they're, they're, they're good teams in there. I mean, obviously, you would go for someone like a Lille or maybe... No, actually, an Ajax. actually, I would love to have a difficult team uh, in the next round. I would love mm-hmm. to have a different team. So, 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 if you had to pick from these, who would you go for? I would take someone like I would take a team like RB Leipzig or something. I would hundred yeah. percent yeah, go for a team. Time like to, I think it's time. I think I agree. You know, playing RB Leipzig and teaching them a lesson for what they did last season is is on the cards, and why not mm-hmm. do so? Uh, but you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say something which is very controversial, and this is what I believe. I believe United have a better chance of winning the Champions League. Then they have a chance of winning the Premier League for a That is, that is, if you put, if you put, uh, if you know, City and uh, PSG both bottled it because le- let's just face it, City have oh, got yeah, double scores and very honest, PSG very honest, scored. Said, over the last few years, the team that has always been expected to win it have ne- has never has won never it. won it. Last, last last season it was City, they never won it. The season before that was PSG, they never they they didn't win it. They reached the I finals, think it was always Bayern. I think and, last season and, was always Bayern. Uh, and and to be to be very honest, you don't need to be the best side in your league to win it. 
Chelsea mm-hmm. was never the best side best in the side, yeah. to, to win it. It's it's very rare you win True. at least when it comes to the to, to the English sides you win both uh, the league and uh, the Champions League. Last manager to do it obviously Sir Alex Ferguson in 2008 but that's a different topic. And and that's where I believe we're very good at cup games. Solskjaer is very good in the cup, you know, reaching those semi-finals, reaching those finals. And that's why I think we can have that spark, especially with the team that we have if mm. our players stay fit. No, but then, you know, we know how he's been on the semi-finals and finals. He's been absolutely stubborn. He was stubborn yeah. in all three but semi-finals in the, the 1920s. You know, now, now you've got the players like Ronaldo, you've got the players of Varane, you have that experience, you have that uh, game-changing ability, you, you know, you have the depth. You can't argue anymore, oh, I don't have the depth. You have... You have Two players for each position who are quality position uh, quality players in the front front three. Mm-hmm. So there's no way you don't uh, you know manage to make that push. And with the side we have, at least a quarterfinal or semi-final is expected. Semi-final. From the likes of semi-final. United. Uh, but uh, one last prediction before we wrap it up. Who would be the leading goal scorer by the time group stages end? Your top three. Good question. I think it has to be between uh, Ronaldo, Lukaku, and uh, whoever plays the false sign for Man City. Or actually, Kylian Mbappe. Sorry. Yeah, that that that's what I assumed. I mean, I think I think you're, you're, I mean, we we agree. I think it would be uh, no. Actually, I don't. I disagree. We completely forgot. I think it's going to be Ronaldo. Lukaku and Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland is oh, yeah. a very... Yeah, absolutely. Dude, yeah. I act classic tough and sporting, so I can see him score tons of goals. Uh, but yeah, guys, you've heard it here. What we think our um, you know winners of the groups are going to be a very controversial one, dropping City into the Europa League. That happens. You'll see Atanu and Sid dancing. Uh, but more than that, United, we expect a lot from them. We expect them to do well. And uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for CR7 to produce. You know, the you know I'm going to add. I, I just have a feeling I'm going to add one more here. I just and, have and that's that what feeling. I said. You know, you know it, it, I, I, I personally believe we have a chance of winning the Champions League way more mm-hmm. than we have a chance of winning the Premier League. But mm-hmm. who knows? Maybe you're adding one on both sides at the end of the season. That's for a different discussion. But guys, do let us know what you think and how you think the Champions League is going to pan out. Exciting times. Tuesday, Wednesday is back. We don't need to worry about the Thursday night football and then the Sunday morning or the Sunday evening games. So, uh, guys... Do like, share and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.